This program has been made possible in part by the following sponsors. The Trial Lawyers Association of B.C. The Vancouver Courier Newspaper. KCM Wealth Management. After homelessness, practicing democracy, meth, shattering us and them, corporations in our hearts or in our minds. Well, not exactly drawing room comedy and not exactly a one singular sensation and you can't forget the rest. This is a different kind of theater. This is a theater of very, very deep engagement, not only with the players, but with the people who come to see these plays. And it's also a theater of that overly popular word, empowerment. Whatever we may label it, boy, it's a going concern. Since 1981, right here in Vancouver, and then traveling all over the world, Headlines Theatre has been a real cultural treasure. We thought it was time to say hello to the guy who since 1984 has been artistic director, but really has been and continues to be the sinew, the lifeblood of this enterprise, David Diamond. David, <laughs> great, oh. <laughs> great, to, great to see you. Nice to be here, David. Thank uh, you. Yeah, love, I just love what you do, and mostly I, I love the way you do it, mm. and, and in particular because of the details. Because it, it, what, and you'll have to describe how you do it for us, but it's not just I get some people in a room and ask their thoughts. No, no. it's not. How um, does it really start to work? Well, first, before we go yeah. there, we're yeah. going through a, a slow name change at the moment oh. after 32 years. SNC, slow name change. Uh, <laughs> and embracing the name Theatre for Living. Ah, okay. When Headlines was founded in 1981, you know, yes. uh, the purpose of the work, it was very different work then. It was kind of getting underneath the headlines. It was, uh, yes. well, it would, no, it wasn't. It was exposing the headlines. Uh, but people are doing that on their cell phones and YouTube now. <laughs> Yes. You know, I've been, the best way I've been able to describe this is when we were doing posters for the first play, we made them on a Gestetner machine. Yeah, yeah. And often people go, a what? Because they have no idea what that is. Yeah. And, it's, and the work has really changed. Yes. From kind of being angry and naming names and demanding resignations to trying to stimulate real community well, dialogue. You're, you're, you're one of your role models, or your hero, this fellow from Brazil, was, what was his pro Augusto Boal was the theater of the oppressed. Of the oppressed, exactly. Yeah, and yeah. in fact, you yeah. know, Augusto and I became very, very dear friends. Yes. But I have left that model about 12 yes. years ago. Okay. Um, I see it as a real binary model that is part of the problem that we face, in fact. And so theater for living became what I was calling the community work there's a book out, Theater for Living, that's yes. selling all over the world. Lovely. And Is it yours? It's, it's mine, oh yeah. Oh! <laughs> it, it yeah. Being, it's yeah. in German, it's yeah. being translated right now into Spanish and Farsi. My goodness. And, uh, and it's time to embrace what we call the work itself. Yes. And so we're letting go of the name Headlines Theater. And also, uh, you're, I, th I think it's a central mission with you, because one of your pieces is called Us and Them, is you're, you, you don't like this binary, this black and white, this, this world and opposites yeah, well, approach. I, I did when I was in my 20s. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, I, I, not only have I changed, but I think the world has changed. Yes. Um, Us and Them had a really central question attached to it, and that was, when does humanity grow up? When do we figure out that on this little tiny blue ball hanging in the middle of nothing, you know, I, I'm a Star Trek fan, you know, but <laughs> Star Trek aside, we have nowhere to go. Yeah. Who are they? And when do we figure out really that there's only us here? And if we could actually embrace that at a cellular level, then all those issues that you rattled off and the names of shows, yes. all of them would be different. Well, yes. Yeah, and so one of the things you, my sense of what you do when you work with people is that you're not even looking for answers. You're, you're looking for 
uh, ideas, explorations, versions of the same story, angles to approach an idea. You're looking for good questions. Well, I think that the nature of real dialogue is that you don't come into it with the agenda of convincing the other person of, of your anything. point of view. Yes. That it actually is really about listening and finding commonality. So we don't actually need to agree about everything. Just just a minute, listening? What a concept. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> I, I, it's tragic, but that's true. Yes. Uh, it's, it's tragic, but it's true. Yes. And so uh, projects like Us and Them, yeah. you know, we brought, uh, uh, with the cast, six people together who uh, I don't think would have ever ended up in the same room together otherwise, and constructed through their own life experiences yes. a, a common uh, story that they could all legitimately be in about how they had turned people into them yes. and how each of them had been turned into them. We, we have a little. We have a little YouTube clip okay, of, yep. of uh, you and your gang doing this work. Yeah. I, I think this is from the us and them work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so let's just have a quick look at this. Uh, it, it, it's quite a revelation. Here's uh, theater for the living headlines theater with us and them workshop. The way the community workshop works is, um, you know, all these people are strangers to each other, and they come from very very different backgrounds. And so we'll spend the whole first day just building some kind of trust and theatrical language in the group. And then we'll start working in nonverbal images. We're not there to investigate the details of anybody's life. Um, theater is a metaphoric language. Humans think in metaphor. And so um, the documentary details aren't as important to me at this point as the iconic images and what they stimulate inside the group. Um, and so we're looking at, we're looking for things that really resonate, images, ideas, about how we create, how, how we turn people into the other and how we are turned into the other. Um, so we do that for a few days in different ways. Uh, I want to be part of um, this project as in, as in them because it, it reflects um, my um, what I am today. Uh, Headlines uh, uh, Theatre uh, does a, an amazing work that uh, uh, involves the community. The community have opportunity to come uh, through theatre and then they discuss their own problems. And then that's why I like about this. That's one of the reasons. She feels smothered by being helped so much. This character yes. you know, is struggling with being smothered, feeling smothered by, help, by being helped so much. A psychologist and his client. A psychologist and her client, last. I can see an elderly mother or the daughter. They could be interchangeable. Right, they could be interchangeable. El elderly mother, daughter, Elderly mother and daughter. All right, David's beating me up because I I, stu <laughs> I stupidly said theater for the living as opposed to theater for the uh, the halt or the lame. No, it's theater uh, for living. Yes. I'm sorry. I apologize. That's so, I so, so look, so so when that boy is looking away yeah. and the woman is reaching down in the first moment, what are, what are we witnessing? We're witnessing some nonverbal expression. Yeah, the work begins with frozen images, t tableaus. So people are making images out of their own life experiences. In this case, when either they've been turned into the other or yeah. they've turned somebody else into the other. Yeah. And it's nonverbal. They're not, they're not explaining the story. You know, humans, we don't think in words. If I say to you, fire, yeah, yeah. You don't think F-I-R-E, you get yeah. pictures of flames or bullets or something, right? We think in pictures. I love that you have said repeatedly that uh, this work is metaphoric and that people think metaphorically, yeah. humans, uh, because I often advise people who are, are working in therapy, uh, read less psychology books, read more literature and poetry. Y yeah, <laughs> art is the psyche of the community. Exactly. And it's, yeah. it's the reason art is important in yeah. all the realms that we live and work in. Yeah, it is not. It is not just a painting on a wall. 
Yeah, no, it's, yeah. it's, 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 a, it's, our, it's, it's an it's expression it's of humanity's psyche. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so, so you start working with people in a nonverbal way, yeah. and then how do you start to... Well, this, select, clip, yeah, this yeah. clip that you saw is uh, uh, the process for the, a main stage work. It uh -huh. starts with a week-long community workshop, six days, eight hours a day, so there's about 24, 26 people in that room. Yes. But you had something like 180 applicants? Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we've got to go through all and of what those. What do you do with all that? I study them, and I, we end up interviewing 43 or so, 44 yeah. of those yeah. people. Okay. And out of those interviews yes. come a group of uh, 20 or 24, depending on available What are you money. looking for? What are you hearing when you're interviewing I'm looking people? for diversity in lots of different ways. Okay. I'm, uh, age, gender, orientation, yeah. Yeah. Right, perspective on the issues, yeah, yeah. in every way you can think of and um, people who are willing to engage at a very honest but playful level. Yes. Um, it, it, this, it, it's an interesting process in that there's expertise meeting. We aren't doing this to rescue people or to save their lives. It isn't a therapeutic process yes. that we're engaged in, although people take an enormous amount from it. We're coming together because the theater company has expertise in doing this work, and the participants have expertise in the issue. Yeah, you have said it's not about I individual stories. So together we can create something that none of us can do alone. Yeah. That becomes a very big gift to the larger community because we get to, you mentioned this before, ask the real questions, or not the fake questions, not the questions that everybody already has the answers to. Just find that insane yes. that, that we do that. Yes. But the questions we actually don't have the answers to, we pose that to audiences in a theatrical way. And then they actually come into the play. Who? The audience. Audience members. Yes. And try to solve the problems in the play. And in us and them, the invitation is to uh, build bridges in between the characters. So what do you do when someone from the audience, if, I, I, I don't know if this has happened, it must have happened sometime, somebody gets up from the audience their, their opening Sally sounds reasonable, but they get up on stage and they've got this whole utterly bizarre agenda. That happens all the time. Yeah, yeah. But, but we're there to actually discuss what happens. Uh -huh. And so we're doing a project on family violence and yes. some kid comes up out of the audience and yes. turns his hand into a gun yeah. and kills his father. Yeah. I understand why he wants to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and we treat it with respect. We go, okay, you shot your dad. Uh, father, lie down, you're dead. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about what this actually means. Because people are shooting each other. Yeah. And we get to, and, and I get to say to him, what happens now? <laughs> yeah. And now it's not a joke. It's not have, a joke have, anymore. Have people come to you recently, or has it been burning in your head, the whole Newtown experience that happened a few weeks ago? Yeah, certainly it's, it's yeah, on yeah. my mind. Yeah, yeah. We're in the middle of a, Another thing, a whole other thing right now. Which we'll talk about after yeah. the break, yeah. Um, uh, but you engage in the work in order to get into a, a, an authentic community dialogue. Yes. And if you're going to do that, then yes. you have to be prepared to discuss things that you don't agree with. Boy, the American government should hire you. You should go around to about 40 states doing this on the subject of just guns. A show, I'd love to see you do a workshop yeah. all over the America. I, I'd uh, suggest the Canadian call. government should hire me <laughs> to talk about environmental protection. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll give the Canadian government a moment here while we catch our, catch our breath on all these big issues. Uh, uh, you can go to davidburner.com and send us your outrageous comments. We're always happy to hear from you. And uh, we take a, a moment to let uh, these nice people who are so kind in helping the show um, come on the air, uh, say hello to you. Uh, here on Shaw Community Television, Cable 4, back in just a moment. This program has been made possible in part by the following sponsors. The Vancouver Courier Newspaper. KCM Wealth Management.
the Trial Lawyers Association of B.C. back with David Diamond of uh, Theater for a Living, <laughs> Theater for Tap Dancing. Yeah, tell us about, uh, I want to, I don't know why I want to call it the misanthrope. It's not the misanthrope. No, it's not the misanthrope. No. It's called maladjusted. Yeah, maladjusted. Yeah, I'm a maladjusted talk show yeah, Well, host. we're yeah. all maladjusted, yeah. I think, yeah. somehow. Um, yeah. Maladjusted is our next main stage project. Will be created and, perform and performed by caregivers and patients in the mental health issue. Wow. And... At the heart of it is how all of us uh, are needing to adjust to a maladjusted health system. I have a prediction that when you put it on, you can tell us when and where, yeah. when you put it on, the Vancouver Coastal Health Authority will ask everyone who attends to take medication. Well, that's <laughs> one of the issues that we're, you know, we had 191 applications come in from really? people who wanted to be... Yes. In the workshop, in the cast, yes, uh, we've really hit a nerve with this. I and bet. of course, it, it's not only in the mental health system that this yeah. is happening; it's happening across the board. Yes. That in the name of efficiency, yes, everything is mechanizing. Yes, I'm getting requests to work in various parts of the country with doctors these days, who are want to use the theater because they're having a harder and harder time, in their words, practicing the art. Of medicine. medicine, yes. They're yes. only practicing the mechanics of medicine. Yes. And in a way, that's in a way what this project is about. But the story will be articulated by actual patients and caregivers in the mental health. Arena. But, well, you, I mean, you, you you hit the nail on the head a few minutes ago when you, when you talk about listening, and I made a joke about it because so few people really listen. Yeah. If anybody needs to, to, to crank up their listening skills, it's doctors. Yeah, you know, I, I, um, my heart goes out to many doctors Absolutely. today. I mean, we, we've had a lot of contact with yeah. professionals in the medical arena, and the, we've constructed a system. You know, it didn't drop in from outer space to right. make our lives you know, miserable. Us. We made it yeah, yeah, that yeah. isn't working and they're inside that system the same as the rest of us. Well, much of it works, but there's much that doesn't. Yeah. I, I agree with you. <laughs> I, I, it's yeah. not that the, yeah. all of it doesn't work. Yeah. I know, I agree with you. Yeah. Um, Maladjusted, yes. uh, it will be at the Fire Hall Arts Center Yes. Uh, from March 8 to 24, so it's a little ways away from okay. t today when we're taping. Um, uh, tickets are available through the Fire Hall Arts Center. The okay. phone number there is 689-0926. Okay. Uh, their website is uh, firehallartcenter.ca. We're really hoping people are going to come. Something that will happen out of this production is, is a policy document. Ooh la la. Uh, will be created out of the ideas that come out of the audience yeah. that organizations like the Mental Health Commission of Canada, for instance, have agreed to receive and use in their work. Uh, to reframe, to make patient-centered care more viable. I wonder viable. if you get, is her name Margaret McDermott or something? The, the health minister, the BC health minister. I wonder if we could get the BC health minister and key people in all of these health authorities to show up. If you can get that woman to show up, I would really appreciate it. I'll work on it. I, seri do. I seriously will work on it. Please do. Yeah, yeah. Be because uh, it's going to be a revelation of sorts, I think. Um, well, we haven't made it yet, yeah. but my hope is, as I said, it asks the questions that we actually don't have the answers to. Okay, because now... that's where the dialogue is. The people, the people that have uh, volunteered and the people you've winnowed the, down, have you done, yeah, yeah. done the winnowing? Yes, yeah, so yeah. that's all yeah. done, the casting yeah. is done, and there are no volunteers, people okay. in our work, get yeah. paid above union wages. Oh, it's, really? It's work. So when we're working with street kids, yeah. they're getting paid above union wages to, to be okay. in our main stage projects. Okay, so, so what kinds of people, do we actually have some uh, mental health workers? Yes. And we all yes. actually have people who are so-called in the system? One of the cast members yes. is an ex-psychiatrist okay. who left his practice yeah. because he was being censored by for talking about the very things <laughs> that this project is about. A recovering psychiatrist. Yeah. Yeah, uh, who you know is very excited to be inside the project. I, I, I work with a guy in uh, some other thing that I do, and he likes to call himself a recovering RCMP officer. Right. <laughs> yeah. right. So you know. Yeah. So no, this is very much all, lies in all of the work. You have is any it, police? 
Uh, no. Would it would be kind of fun to have a police person. No, we were organizing a main stage project that was supposed to be with Vancouver Coastal Health and the Vancouver Police Department, and the communications department, the VPD, killed it dead. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it was very sad. No, because there's some very good people there. Yeah. And some wonderful cops. Yeah, very, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Well, uh, let me say, I'm not somebody who believes that people join the police force to yeah. beat people up. No, 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 no. And no, 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 no. I know too many people who've been beaten up by the police. Yeah, there may be two or three of those So guys. what yeah, yeah, yeah. happens, this project was going to be yeah. in partnership with the police force. Don't to, give up on that one. That's an important one. To look at how we keep uh, police officers healthy inside a very stressful situation. You know what's so amazing is my buddy, who likes to jokingly call himself a recovering RCMP officer, do you know what he did mm -hmm. during his RCMP years? Mm -hmm. He took the master class, you know, that acting thing? Yeah. That, that deep, deep acting Oh, the voice, exercise. the voice intensive. Is it voice intensive? Yeah, I, I, I believe so. Yeah, we just get very, very... It's yeah. the voice intensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, he's an RCMP officer. Yeah, he's well, very, you know... And of course, his path turned out to be different. Yes, yeah. well, we're human beings and we all need that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, we live in a world now, I think, where it's become, in a sense, illegal to feel deeply. Why do you say that? That's very interesting. Well, you know, don't feel too deeply in school. They'll put you on drugs. Yes. ADHD. Uh, yeah. Point the finger, hand him a pill. Um, yeah. It, it, we've, it's because we're living in a more and more mechanized culture, mm -hmm. but we're not mechanical beings. And so w what do you do with your legitimate uh, emotional world? You text. You know, what do you do with <laughs> yeah. it? You, you, you can't take it to work. Yes. You can't take it to school. Uh, and in many homes, you can't take it into your home. What do you do with it? Well, people are embarrassed to say anything just simple and straightforward. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the theater becomes a safe place to do that. In fact. Yes. So tell me, tell me you, you, you've come from a classical training as an actor and yeah. a theater person. You've gone in this whole other direction. What what do you feel now, if and when you ever go to the other theater? <laughs> do you do you go occasionally? Oh, yeah, I go. I see a lot of theater. Do yeah, you? Yeah, do yeah, you? Yeah, and do you still love it and still have a wonderful time? Yeah, no, I love going to the theater. I, yeah, I'm yeah. I, you know, Theater for Living Headlines yeah, yeah, Theater is yeah. thirty two will be thirty two years old yes. in, uh, on January twenty first. Muscle Um Whoever thought that would happen? Yeah. And, uh, you know, I was saying to you earlier, I'm, I miss acting yes. at, at the moment. I'd love to just act yeah. in somebody's play. Yeah. Not be the producer, not be the director, not raise the money for it. Yeah. And, and probably, exercise those old muscles. Probably a lot of people don't think of you because they think, you, well, he's just too busy. Well, you know, my calendar too much books going. 14 to 18 months in advance, so it makes it difficult to do. Yikes. Like Tell us one or two travel stories with, with headlines, with theater for yeah. a living, because you've taken these works all, literally all over the world. Yeah. Uh, what well, an extraordinary adventure. You know, uh, I, uh, something that pops to mind yeah. uh, immediately is many years ago now, uh, making an interactive theater piece under a tree in Rehoboth, Namibia, about uh, gang violence issues in Rehoboth, and training this guy named Pepsi to <laughs> facilitate the events after I had yes, gone. Yeah, yeah. It was a remarkable yeah. uh, period of time. Uh, or, um, geez, just... Under a tree, though. Well, because that's yeah, how yeah. things happen in Namibia, yeah. yeah. yeah you know. How far away were the lions? Oh, no. You know, <laughs> they were no, nearby. Nothing like that. We're in a <laughs> shanty town in, yeah. in, 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 Yikes. in Namibia. Yeah. Um, or just last year, two, two years ago now, being in Palestine, yes, uh, working at the University of Bethlehem on us and them issues. Oh boy, uh, was you know very very powerful. If this me. isn't if this isn't home central for us and them, it tears out my heart as yeah. a Jew to see this endless conflict with people. Yeah, it's, it's it, yeah. And you know, yeah. I'll I'll put my politics on the stage. There yeah. will be no peace in that region yes. until a lot of land gets given back. Yeah, a lot of things have to happen. Well, yeah. that's one of them. Yeah, that's one of them. Sure. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I understand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So, do you see this? Do you see this? Thirty-two years going to thirty-eight and forty, and 
Did you have a successor? Do you, did you um, think about those matters? I, I do think about those things, yeah. and uh, there overtly is no succession plan. Yet. No, oh. everything is born, lives, and dies. Uh -huh. I think it's, a, 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 in fact, against the laws of nature, this idea that things continue on forever. Yes. The, it, this is a vehicle through which I have done and do my work, and uh, we run training workshops and have mentored a lot of people, and they're all out there doing their stuff, and they will do They will do, do stuff, yeah. Um, but, you know, uh, I was very good friends with people in Tamanus Theatre. You remember Tamanus? Of course, of course. Yeah. Um, and, you know, there was a time when that collective ended that Tamanus should have ended. Yeah. And it yep. didn't, and it didn't. Yeah. And so it sort uh, of went on a bit long. Yeah, and no disrespect to the people who took it over, but right. it wasn't Tamanus anymore. What's your prediction about the Vancouver Playhouse? Will someone rise from those ashes? Will will some group come in, some y youngsters come in and say, look... Well, that's already happening. I mean, there's, uh, Vancouver has a very healthy young... Yeah. Uh, theater scene, I mean, you know, right. many companies. And people like, like Langara are churning out terrific young actors and stage yeah. directors. So is somebody going to take over that space and make use of it? Well, no, you see, I think this may yeah. not be a popular thing to say, yeah. but the, the whole regional theater model is, yeah. is over. It's a colonial and, and model. I, I mourn yeah, the yeah. death of the Playhouse yes. the way I mourn yeah. the death yeah. of my grandparents. Okay, but... Um, owe them a tremendous debt of gratitude. Uh, yeah. But it was time. It was time. Okay, and it's time for us, <laughs> David Diamond. Theater for Living, formerly Headlines Theater. Wonderful stuff, David. Great to see you. Thank you. Uh, folks, that's it. Next week, Pamela McCall is a publisher. Uh, let's see. It was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Uh, no creature was smoking, not even a mouse. Wait till you see what happened to her when she published a book where she just eliminated two lines. It's an amazing story. All right, thanks for being with us. Uh, see you again soon here on Shaw Community Television, Cable 4. Good night.